Now, the World Bank and other stakeholders have organized the Ghana Productive Safety Net Project to protect the poor and boost economic growth of Ghana. The event, which was organized here in Accra, was under the theme Leveraging Digitization for Effective Social Protection Delivery. Bank Country Director to Ghana, Laporte, said that the Ghana Productive Safety Net Project which is a four-year IDA finance project, has been instrumental in boosting the government of Ghana's social protection agenda and the World Bank will further support government with additional financing to the Ghana Productive Safety Net Project too. And thank you all for participating in this important event as we come to the close of the Ghana Productive Safety Net Project, a four-year IDA finance project that has been instrumental in uh, boosting the government of Ghana's social protection agenda. As you know, the World Bank takes a keen interest in social protection as it is at the heart of our work, evidenced by our twin goals, which is to reduce, to end extreme poverty and boost shared prosperity. Since 2010, the World Bank has consistently supported the government of Ghana the Minister for Local Government, Decentralization and Rural Development, Daniel Bochi, said since 2019, the Ghana Protective Safety Net Project has achieved key milestones and shared a few of government's achievements. Light of some of the achievements shot through the implementation of the program includes one, the labor intensive public works program has provided short-term employment to over 34,500 poor households. We have also distributed 11.9 million cashew, oil palm, coconut, and other value chain activities to over 16,000 beneficiaries to the government flashes programs of the Planting for Export and Rural Development Program. That's the paid program. We've also disbursed an amount of 100.33 million Ghana cities to protect, to project beneficiaries as grants and wages for services provided. As part of the learning event project, the Minister for Gender, Children and Social Protection, Lareba Apudu, said digitizing social protection delivery has the potential to reduce fragmented, isolated social protection interventions, thereby linking beneficiaries of social protection interventions to other services and support, and yet towards achieving the Sustainable Development Goal 1, which aims at ending poverty in all forms. Digitizing social protection delivery has the potential to reduce fragmented, isolated social protection interventions, thereby linking beneficiaries of social protection interventions to other services and support. I strongly believe that there is broad consensus on the, na on the notion that this is a sound concept and a clear necessity after more than two decades of impressive economic growth under the Fourth Republic, I believe that Ghana is in position to innovate and once again be a pay setter in the sub-region in ensuring that social protection delivery is digitized across all sectors. The Ministry of Gender, Children and Social Protection with support from the World Bank has already taken the lead in line with this by implementing a digital grievances redress mechanism, which we call the Single Window Citizen Engagement Service, Helpline of Hope. This system ensures transparency and accountability by creating unified complaints, 